All right, we're with Tasman Happy here. Congratulations, buddy. You pulled it off. Thank you. It was, it was a tough race. I had Cavallari burning my door down at the start, and then I kind of got a break. But then Spencer came at the end, and he, was, he didn't make it easy on me, that's for sure. You led a, a big part early. Uh, you did have a couple of mistakes in the middle. Tell me about those, and Cavallari actually led briefly. Yeah, it was just the track is so tough, and we're running such a close pin tire to make tire wear, and then there's dust involved, and... It's just that's I said at Silver State that was the hardest main I've ever raced, but this is the new hardest race I've ever raced. It was, just, it was so difficult to concentrate for that long and to keep the pace, and it's just not easy. Let's talk about two incredible pit stops by your parents. Yeah, they definitely did their their good work, and it was pretty awesome to have them have them on my team. I'm very blessed. There was a 4.7, and I think a 4.8. They were basically spotless. Yeah, they're they've been doing it for a long time, and they're really good at it. Well, your fourth title, tell me your sponsors, whoever you want to thank, go ahead. The camera is yours, buddy. I'd like to thank uh, all my sponsors, X-Ray, uh, OS, ProLine, um, Hobby Wing, um, what else on there? I can't really think right now, VP, Hoodie, uh, MKS, um, just all the people that have helped me over the years, all my sponsors. If I forgot you, I'm sorry, but uh, I just want to thank my family for pinning for me, Jesse back home watching, cheering me on, and most importantly, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ty Tessman, your 2018 buggy champion here at the Roar nationals wow what a fantastic finish here to the eight scale roar buggy nationals there with uh, ty testman taking the win testman taking truck and buggy here this weekend And as we're uh, getting set, we'll have a few more interviews here with our podium finishers from that one. And it uh, looks like they are ready to rock and roll. Let's send it back down to uh, Dave Derringer with another Beach RC Race Report. All right, caught up with Spencer Rifkin, second in the final. And uh, he qualified third coming into it. A good run. You actually led briefly there. and uh, or did, I take that back. You did not lead briefly. You were uh, in the top three or four for most of the race second at the finish i apologize yeah i mean uh i qualified third um i knew going in that i was gonna go nine minutes uh, my fuel mileage has been awesome th throughout the weekend and my mx engines are running great uh but the main was really tough i knew that um at the beginning it wasn't really how i planned it to go i usually it never is but i was a little slower than i would have liked and um, I knew that I was just going to get better and better as the race went on, and plus I'll drop this pit stop. Um, so I knew I was going to be the shark kind of at the end. If you know I can get all the stars to align and hit my marks and do the best I can, that I would be right behind Ty. Um, at the very the last five minutes, I I was right there with him um, and made a couple of bobbles on my part. But I mean, this track bites you when in, uh, when you try to push. So um, the J cons of tires. I ran the detox in Y2, and then they were they were awesome the whole time, and they lasted the whole race. I didn't have any problems with like with that. Um, I, I'll take this as a learning experience and move on to the next one, which is the next one is the world. So it was good practice for me, and you know it's cool to always get a podium. And you know my first rule of uh, thumb is just finish. So I got that done, and I I, I ran out of gas on the basic crossing the line. I knew it was going to be tight because I was pushing. But um, it was fun. I had, I had a good time, and I appreciate everyone that, that helped me through the weekend and the great um, track crew here. I mean, without those guys putting and putting their, or, you know, running their tails off and working their butts off and all the volunteers that helped get this event through, it really means a lot to me because I love racing, and, you know, without those guys putting the track on, it, it wouldn't have been a good event, and it was a great event. Uh, talk to me. Go back to that pit stop. You did four. Uh, some of the guys were five. We even had a six out there. Uh, for pit stops, Mike and I were wondering if you were even going to make it. Why did you choose to push that? What, what do you mean four? Four stops total. Um, I mean, I dropped a spot or dropped a pit spot. I mean, I did nine minutes. So I, everyone did 730, so I dropped a pit spot. Okay. Okay. So overall, the event here, Florida, it's been a hot and warm one. What do you uh, take out of here and uh, go into the world's in Australia? Yeah, I learned uh, quite a bit with my teammates. I mean, like I said, we I can't tell you how much we've worked on our car and – uh, email my team manager Brent, uh, TJ, our engineer Richard Saxon. You know my 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 man, my pig guy, and you know it, it truly comes down to the that little room inside. You know, associated and then those guys doing their meetings and you know going through the progressions of things and, and staying in contact with me and you know doing the best I 
you know, them giving me the best, best product that, as possible for me to go out there and do what I love to do. And they definitely did that. I definitely left some things on the line of my driving, my driving and, you know, I left it on the line, had some bobbles, but I'm, I'm happy. I saw you trip at the end there and uh, kind of just crashed to the ground. You okay? You were limping there. Yeah, I don't work out that often, so my legs got uh, kind of crippled for a second, but... No, they they were all right. I'm fine now, but I guess I should start doing some squats or something. I don't know. Spencer Rifkin finishing second, Mike. We'll throw it back to you. We'll try to catch up to a third place here in a moment. Well, great run there for Spencer Rifkin as well. As we get set to uh, find our third place finisher, Ryan Cavallari. Stay tuned with us right here on Live RC. We will be right back. Welcome to Bo! Everything good comes in threes. With Moe's New Tacos, you get three times the all-natural meat. Three times the southwestern flavor with avocado lime crema. Three times the freshly prepared ingredients. And three times the fist pumps for recommending it to your friend. Introducing Moe's Three Amigos. Order them like you see them. Hi, I'm Shane Kelly with Leadfinger RC. We're here at the 2018 Dirt Nitro Challenge, debuting the new LFR A2 tactic body for the Techno NB48.4. Body's been working awesome on this high grip, high speed layout, providing the perfect downforce to get around the track as fast as possible. You can check it out today at leadfingerrc.com. Lake City, Columbia County, Florida. Located in the center of the state where I-75 and I-10 converge. We're open for business. Your business. Favorable taxes, inexpensive land, and a workforce ready for you. Columbia County, Florida. All right, we caught up with uh, third place Ryan Cavallari. Ryan, a good run. Uh, you were leading briefly there uh, a couple times, a couple mistakes. Tell me about the final. Yeah, it was a really good start. Um, kind of got around tie pretty quick. Uh, tires, everything was really, really good at the beginning. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of battled and kind of started to pull away a little bit. And then and we both made some mistakes. It just through the dust, you just lose your car a little bit. So the line was very small. So anytime we just got out of the groove, you were just going to slide to the outside pipe. So I made a couple mistakes uh, really in the middle of the run that really cost me from winning, I would say. I think I had the pace. I just just made some really bad mistakes when I was kind of right behind Ty pushing and just I slipped in the wrong line coming on that back straight and I jumped off the track. And it was that was really like my the, the ended my race. Um, so, I mean, I just drove around pretty much to get third at the end of it. Um, I was happy with everything. You know, we turned our weekend around. We weren't really that fast in qualifying and got good in the semi. And, and, you know, I would say we had good pace. So I will take it. Some good pit stops as well with your crew. Yeah, the pit stops were really good. Um, yeah, I got to give it a hand to them. They did a good job. I mean, they got me out every time. They didn't flame out. So, I mean, that's a hard job to do. <laughs> Sponsors, who do you want to thank? Uh, Tim Associated, uh, MX, J Concept, Savox, uh, Stick It One, Dark Side Designs. It's everybody behind me. All right, we'll throw back to Mike G in the booth. Wrapping it up out here in the pits.